Hello everybody and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2. I am running out of fuel again. Right, where am I going? I am going to lovely, beautiful Poland to Kakol or whatever to get fuel. Fuel is here. And uh, then I should be able to travel the long distance from Lublin, sure, all the way to Aberdeen. That's the plan. I have, like, fuck all fuel, so this is a problem. I'm gonna just take it a bit easy and not rush anything. And by doing that, I mean 50 miles an hour. Oh, brake, brake, oh shit. Turn in, drive. I'm gonna have to pick up a tiny bit of fuel now so I can actually make it because my journey is 280 miles long. And I have uh, 187 miles. Buy lots of fuel! Fuel is expensive in this country. Let's go! Right, so yeah, this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Really, really good game. I really enjoy this. Everyone in the college thinks I'm a nublet though because I play a simulator game that simulates driving a European truck. Which, according to them, is weird and antisocial. But I don't believe them. There's some uh, big teepees. That's how they make teepees. They make them from uh, stars or something. I really should have got a drink. I don't have a drink near me, which is a problem. I'm traveling from this country into this other country. I don't know flags, so... The giant space penis I see behind that tree. Space penis. No, it looks... If your penis looks like that, there is something wrong. No, that is not a giant space penis. It looks like a hot air balloon that broke in a weird way. Yeah, so uh, I will be coming back on that channel because uh, my last headset broke is the reason why I left. Uh, primarily, because, um, yay, HP. Everyone in the comments say how crap HP is. <laughs> nah, they, it was a good headset, but the uh, capacitor went in it, so it, draw, it drew all the power out of my computer in one big go and nearly killed my processor, which was a bit of a sucky move. This new headset is very nice. I literally got it today. I just opened it, and uh, it comes with a lifetime warranty, which I'm most pleased about. Let's go and drive to uh, some place. There's a hill made of trees, that's nice. This is running on my machine, of course, at a steady number of frames per second. I'm not going to say for science reasons. It's a Pentium G20303 gigahertz processor from Intel, of course, running on uh, 12 gigabytes of Corsair RAM with a 430 watt Corsair power supply. Uh, the RAM and the uh, processor on a gigabyte uh, 1155 socket motherboard with a brilliant GTX 650, an Asus GTX 650, just the best card. I really love this graphics card. Oh god, look at the frame rate. For god's sake, god, look at the frames. But yeah, and now I have to slow down to 31 miles an hour because whatever country this is, is clearly inept at driving or whatever. Ah. Oh shit, too fast. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's good. Uh, I got a Dell keyboard, which is a shame. You may or may not hear me tapping keys, but uh, if you do, then sorry. And if you do, sorry, Editing Harry, who has to cut all those key presses out. Oh, what a lovely chap Editing Harry is. I really love him. I like swearing profusely, so his job is harder. Yeah, it's good. It's good for him. Keeps him on his toes. 1080p, because sort of any other frame of bloody resolution. Like, who can play again at, at, at 720p? I really do not know. Because that would just hurt. It would just be pain. Like, 1080 is lovely. Like it's smooth-ish, and the many pixels that are having a brilliant time. Ah, the speed limit has increased itself to 80, so I'm going to do a steady 60. Tower over there. But yeah, uh, this is me. Harry's going to cut this bit out. Oh, and I got an achievement! Achievement unlocked. I am a GPS. Speed limit has just increased to 81 miles an hour. That's lovely. I'm not actually going to do that speed because uh, my truck would explode and kill everyone. Anyway, let me just look at the other view. This is the other view. And it's loud, really loud. Okay, let's not do that view again. It's the Pentium, it's the biggest thing. It's a dual core processor. And everyone's running quad cores these days. Quad cores or octo cores, like the new Intel processors. And I can't afford one of them. Okay, kill. Killed, I got killed, I got killed, I got killed again. And I broke my
my truck. It's been like three minutes. Look at all these lovely trees. This, this is good. Yeah, and the frame rate is good. But anyway, yeah, I, I really enjoy playing this. Much to the uh, annoyance of my friends who just continually say what a fucking scrub lord I am for liking a game where all you do is drive a truck. My fault, it's a good game. Right, oh. I'm only doing this because my, my parents, so uh, Harry's uncle and auntie, are actually out with the dog at the moment, which is the only time I get to record without barking at things in the background. I crashed a bit again. If you like this, then that's weird, because this, to me, is probably the most boring thing you're ever going to watch, and it's going to be 90 trillion miles long. I think I'll just get to the petrol station, and then I'll probably quit this. Uh, yeah. Because it seems like uh, like four hours of footage of this is going to be utterly boring for anyone to do. And even editing Harry might die of boredom. We wouldn't want that. Because then you wouldn't have any more videos. Because I can't edit. I don't know how. I never learned. Harry never learned. Bastard. There is in-game music you can have on. There is a radio. And it has all some good songs on it. Because you add them yourself. Which is nice. The issue is they're all copyrighted. So I can't use a single one. Joy upon joy upon joys. Oh, oh, I hit that. Oh, I hit that. Sorry. I'll pay, I already paid for the damages. It's fine. Um, who put that there? Who put this bloody mirror right there so I can't see what I'm doing? Oh, I have no legs. Uh, and I have no friends. Uh oh, time to go. Uh, I don't need to get the wrong wrong. Drive, 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 drive. Oh, the, the Whatever country this is, police get me. I don't think there are police in this game. I'm just going to drive through this and not get killed by a train. That's the plan anyway. I remember waiting at one of these for up to 30 minutes for a train to go because the barriers were down and it turns out the game had just bugged. And so I had to slow them between the barriers. Don't do that in real life because you'll get killed by a train. And that would really ruin your day, I think. Driving along and then wham, train. You're dead. Be like, damn, they think of all those cool stuffs I could have done, like play European truck simulator instead of having friends or a social life or a do well at college or numerous things. I have a life, it's just quiet. That looks very nice. They're coming up. Wow. Yep, frame rate drops. Whee! Down it goes. Oh, 20. 20 frames then. Okay, what's that? It's like a castle on a hill. That's cool. There we are. Right. Probably have some names and stuff. Probably like really cool and things. Not like Castle Upon Hill. But anyway. Maybe it's called Castle Upon Hill, I don't know. Whatever country this is, I have no idea. It's that one between Poland and that other one. I didn't even know what that other one was, so I don't know what really. And my computer is completely freezing. Like I turned it on today and the graphics card temperature gauge read uh 18 degrees and the CPU read 20 degrees and now I'm playing this and I don't suspect them to go over 30 degrees because fucking cooling is amazing in my bloody box oh no I'm actually having physical pain now oh, I've been talking for so long I'm gonna have to stop okay everybody I think that's enough Euro Truck Simulator for today uh, I'm back and uh, soon you're gonna see some more footage of me on that channel I'm gonna be playing some uh, Red Alert 2 which is a very old Command and Conquer game uh, I really enjoy doing it, and I just found that Shadowplay from NVIDIA actually records it, which is brilliant. But anyway, uh, that's enough of me. Uh, hope you have a nice day, and bye-bye. Uh,